But let me tell you about some chicks that I know I got a Latina girl that said she wanted Prano I got a girl in Toronto and I call her Raptor She, to she said she fed up with the modern rappers There's no energy that sounded thin to me Yeah, so I said I got that remedy I got that old shit, you can depend on me <laughs> Cause I'm versatile I can shake up the floor, I reverse the time Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with an After Effects Photoshop and Sony Vegas tutorial, mostly an After Effects tutorial though, uh, here on Effects Friday, even though I'm filming this on Wednesday. And uh, why am I filming at 921 at night? It is because tomorrow, uh, October 9th at 815, I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed and I will be completely out of it over the weekend. And uh, I have to get this film for you guys because so many of you guys want an After Effects tutorial. So I decided I would do it on something that is very near and dear to my heart. And uh, it is actually from a video we did uh, in 2009. You guys saw it in the intro, but let me just show you where I came up with this effect. We were looking for some cool outro to do. And I just made up this effect right here. And I thought it looked so freaking cool. Um, it, it basically just cuts out the background and then everything fades away. Uh, this is a, a dumbed down version. Uh, you guys can take the time and do it. This this is way easier than what we're doing today. But um, what we're doing today is this right here. You guys have seen it in the intro, but I haven't completed it yet. This is the uh, video in the works here in Sony Vegas. Um, basically, boom, it goes away and then there's just this amazingness going on in the background. It looks awesome. Um, but... Just a fair warning to everyone. First off, I'm using paid plugins in this, and if you have a problem with that, I'm very sorry. You don't have to use them. It's not detrimental to the effect, but it just makes things easier and speeds things up. And uh, another thing about that is there's no way I will be able to cut everything out in this tutorial. So this is gonna, this might be a little bit longer of a tutorial, and also. Um, if I ramble or I make a mistake, I can't cut it out, guys, because there's no way I'll be able to edit this. Um, and I'm very sorry about that, but uh, you just got to deal with it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you should be happy I'm making a tutorial right now anyway. So just shut your mouth. Shut your dirty mouth. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, please, guys, give the video a like. I I can't stress enough how much that helps, and you guys are doing awesome with that. You get, like I think our... Other video got almost 700 likes. That's that's ridiculous, guys. Like you guys are freaking amazing. Thank you so much. Um, also, don't forget to leave a comment because leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. Also about that, uh, I don't think I'll be able to do a favorite comments because I literally released the last tutorial today. Like uh, the 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 Wednesday, like the, today is Wednesday. I released it this morning. There's not enough comments for me to make a um, favorite comment, so I will just do double favorite comments on the next tutorial which will probably be monday or tuesday so yeah um be excited about that <laughs> uh and also uh but still leave a comment guys because you guys could make it to the end of the video next week and uh what else can i say um go to ch -ch check it.com slash downloads to download all these things i'm giving away for free i mean the the two videos th this full 1080p looks amazing Check that out. It's kind of lagging because I got so much going on on my computer right now. But um, all this is free. And uh, PSDs are free. Uh, After Effects Project is free. Anyway, you get the picture. Go there to jacket.com slash downloads. Download it. And I guess now we can get to the tutorial. So let's uh, kind of skip to this. If you guys don't know how to import a video into Sony Vegas, it's very easy. You just grab it drag and drop it into Sony Vegas like so you see that boom now it's in there um, but I already have the video right here and I have the song muted because I do not want to uh, have copyright in this so yeah uh, <laughs> anyway um, basically what what the what the main effect in uh, Sony Vegas there's, there's only two things you're gonna be doing one is the linear wipe that happens here and it does not need to be precise as you can see because uh, it's so fast that it looks perfect um, but the second thing that you're going to be doing is you need to grab a picture at the moment that you want the music to come on so um, in this video I know I have it like kind of EQ differently and then when the song starts boom that's when I have the effect happen so I know I want to bring the effect back around here so I want to grab an image right about here it does not need to be perfect um, let's go up to preview auto and then go down to best and click full. 
And uh, the great thing about this effect is it is so lenient, you guys. You guys can get away with so much mistakes and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, next you're going to uh, hit this floppy disk right here to save the image. And the last one I named was Eli Smile. This one is Eli Goober. So G O O B E R. Eli Goober. Save. And now we have an image on our desktop called Eli Goober. Next, you're going to want to go into Photoshop. See how easy that was, guys? Drag and drop that image into Photoshop. And we just want to cut out this image real quick. So let's click on this lock to get rid of that. Then let's go to our quick selection tool, which is the fourth tool down. You'll see it. It's like this paintbrush with a little uh, nugget next to it. And <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. You can use the bracket keys to size up and down. Right bracket sizes up, left bracket sizes down. And uh, just quickly, we're just going and we're just selecting everything. Look how fast that was. We're going to zoom in. This is good. This happened. If you hold alt, you will get a negative sign, but we want to make this smaller. That's what she said. And uh, hold alt and then just bring this in because uh, it's a little off there. There we go. And uh, with that, now we can actually add that part back in. There we go. That was nice and easy. And also right there. Okay. So now let's go up to refine edge. Let's do smart radius. Turn up the radius. Let's uh, click and drag. Wow, that. There we go. Let's also drag around the hair. Very nice. That looks a lot better now. And uh, let's shift the edge in just a tad bit. Not not too much. Uh, turn up the contrasting. Feather it just a tad. Smooth it out a lot. And we want to shift the edge in a little more. Does not need to be perfect, you guys. Um, can't stress that enough. There we go. That looks horrible. So let me actually hit Alt. And get rid of that. Ew. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay. Let's zoom in here and uh, go smaller. And hit Alt. I'm just refining this real quick. You guys can do the same exact thing as me and not take too much time. All right. So um, that is perfectly fine to me. Uh, next, we want to hit this decontaminate colors. And then uh, make sure the output is set to new layer with mask. And then hit OK. And now, right now, we can just hit Control Shift S. And we want to save Eli Goober space PSD. And then hit Enter to save it to the desktop. There we go. And now we're done with the Photoshop portion. So let's go into After Effects. Oh, look at that. I already have the last one up. And uh, guys, Control S. This one is the dark version. I'm going to be making a light version right now. Um, you guys can grab this at checkit.com, but uh, let's just hit Control shift n to make a new project right now. Oh, well, got to make sure I'm in. Why isn't that working? Really? Control alt n Oh, okay. I guess it's Control alt n I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I guess they changed that. That is really weird. Okay. Anyway, um, now let's double click in this area over here. And let's uh, go to our desktop and let's just find the uh, Eli Smile PSD. Or not Eli Smile, Eli Goober PSD. That's what we just saved. So now we can import that. And we want to make sure it's on composition, editable layer styles. Hit OK. And uh, we also want to just make a new comp right now. So let's just click and drag this over to this blank canvas area. And it will make a new comp. And right now it looks very stupid, but it will look awesome. So let's hit control. Well, let's select down here. Make sure you're selecting this blank canvas area. Hit control Y to make a new blank solid. Let's just uh, call this BG. Doesn't matter what the color is. Let's just make it black. It's not racist. It's a color correction term. Make sure it's at your project settings. Hit OK. Um, let's go over to our effects and presets. And let's just type in uh, color. And let's scroll down and find, um, where is it? Uh, four color gradient. Click and drag that onto the BG. And uh, let's just make a quick four color gradient. So I'm going to drag this over here. Uh, let's drag this one towards the middle here. Let's drag that one there and put this one more up towards the top. There we go. Start with the blue. Um, let's make it a lighter blue. There we go. And then uh, the purple. Let's make it a... Uh, manila color. I've done this uh, colorama thing in the past. This is one of my favorite things to do right here. Um, let's do another manila in the top right. 
Oh, it's too green. There we go. More yellow. And then let's change the yellow to a nice bright purple. Okay. And uh, let's just blend it a lot. There we go. Um, let's actually drag that out a little bit. And drag that out as well. So we're not getting too much uh, craziness going on. Awesome. That's actually looking really good. Check that out. All right. So uh, next what we want to do is drag it underneath, of course. And look at that. It's already turning out pretty awesome. <laughs> Let's, uh, what, what should we do next? Let's actually go find our particles now because uh, particles always make things look better. And you guys can always download these particles. They are free at videocopilot.net. I will give a link in the, in the description. There's tons of particles to choose from, but I'm going to go to Video Copilot HD Particles. Here they are. And I used uh, Particle 02. I'm just going to import it. Click and drag it on top. And uh, let's zoom out and then click and just hold Shift and just make it larger than the image. There we go. And let's actually add a curves adjustment. Because uh, this is going to be way too uh, washed out, I can already tell. Just bring down the blacks a lot. There we go. Crank the whites. That's That sounds so racist. Okay. <laughs> anyway, now if we hit F4, uh, that will bring up the blending modes here. And let's just change that blending mode to screen. And now you will see that we have nice particles going on. And now is the time that we get to choose the length of our video. The last one I made was 10 seconds, so let's just stick with that. Bring the cursor, the timeline indicator here, to 10 seconds. And then let's click and drag the composition right here all the way to the right until it uh, matches up with the 10 second mark. Let's right click and go trim comp to work area. Now we're at about 10 seconds. It does not need to be perfect, you guys, unless you're on a time constraint or something like that. I'm not the boss. You do what you need to do. Goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> next, let's, uh, what should we do next? Uh, let's go towards the, hmm. We can either go for the particle. I guess we can add in the uh, lens flare. So let's hit control Y. Control command Y, depending if you're a Mac or not. Okay, let's go to flares and just hit, uh, let's make it a different color. Let's make it bright like yellow. Okay. Okay, and I'm sorry I'm speeding through this, you guys, but you guys need to understand that I have uh, that wisdom teeth appointment tomorrow, and uh, I took a pill that is going to knock me out within the hour, so I really need to get this done. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this is how much I care for you guys. Okay, next, let's just type in uh, flares, and it should bring up optical flares if you have it. This is not uh, mandatory, you guys. You guys do not have to use this method, but uh, I am obviously. <laughs> so let's go to options here. And let's just go find something that we like. Pro presets. Uh, do I like any of those? I know I want a white Aurora because I want, I, I like having that at the bottom, but I also like to tweak this and get rid of that big spot there. And I know that's the turquoise bleed. So I like to hide that and then hit okay. And uh, let's bring the purple down here. There we go. That looks good. Let's change it to a 3d. And let's also make it on transparent. And it doesn't look good now, but it will. Don't worry. It will. <laughs> let's make it add. Uh, maybe not add. That's that's a little too bright. Let's just go to screen. Screen's a little too... Uh, screen will do just fine right now. All right. Next, what we want to do is we want to... I guess we could do the camera... Uh, zoom and stuff like that. So let's right click, go new camera and just call it camera. 50 millimeters, fine, hit OK. And let's also create a new null. So right click, new, null object. And let's just call this, uh, let's hit enter and rename it control because that's what we're going to control the camera with. So let's hit F4. And let's uh, go underneath this box and make it a 3D layer. You see how we did that? Let's also make the particles a 3D layer, the goober a 3D layer, and the BG a 3D layer. Next, let's go to the camera. And let's just go into the camera options and start keyframing some things. Uh, first off, let's start with zoom here. I uh, set a keyframe by hitting that little stopwatch over there. Let's go all the way to the end. And let's just zoom in a lot. 
uh, to where we want it to end up. Right there looks good to me. And then let's go into the transform options here. And let's just uh, make sure that our position is where we want it to end up. So go to the beginning, hit position, then go all the way to the end. And uh, you can just move it until you get it to exactly where you want it to be. Um, I mean, it, there's some really cool things you could do with the position. You know, you could zoom in and out and everything like that. But uh, the, one of the coolest things is you can make it right or left. And I like to make it a little bit more right over here. And there's a reason for that because uh, towards the end, it rotates. I, I don't know if you can really tell uh, in the preview, but it looks pretty awesome. So uh, next what we can do is we can actually go into... Uh, the control settings and we can link these two so the camera you'll see this little squiggly over here click and drag that squiggly to the control layer and that will parent it then we can go into the control settings and we can keyframe the position here by hitting well okay you, you hover over the stopwatch you hold alt and you click and we're gonna add a simple expression here we're gonna say wiggle parenthesis Let's do a 1, 32, end parenthesis, and now we're just going to get this massive camera shake through the entire thing, and that affects all of your 3D layers. Uh, so we actually need to zoom out, and we need to go to our BG layer down here, hit S, and we just want to scale that up, uh, holding shift, and now we hit 0 to preview what we've done so far. And it's actually looking <laughs> pretty awesome. We haven't even added color correction. It looks pretty cool right now. See, guys, you don't you don't need to use paid plugins, but play, paid plugins really do add a lot. Um, I'm not going to bash them. Okay, so it's looking actually really good. There you go. You can tell it's going to look awesome. So uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add another flare. So let's right-click, go New, Solid. And uh, let's just change this to kind of like a bright blue so we get we don't get them all confused. Flare 2. Hit OK. And let's just click and drag this optical flares onto it. And let's add this flare to the top right. And let's make this flare something more noticeable like... Um, what's a good one? I, I like... There's so many great ones in... Uh, Pro presets. Uh, let's just use Scorch. Yeah, Scorch is awesome. Let's hit OK. And uh, actually, I want to tweak that a little bit because there's one thing I don't like about Scorch, and I can tell right now. It's that middle part right there. So let's get rid of that. That looks like it would be the multi iris. Yep. Hit OK. And now let's uh, do the same thing we did before on transparent, make it 3D. And let's actually change the blending mode by hitting F4. And uh, what should we make this one? Screen? Uh, that's, that's a little dark. If we hold shift and hit the plus key, you'll notice that we can scroll through. Ooh, I like that one a lot. What was that? Linear dodge. Oh, wow. I think I like classic color uh, dodge. That looks pretty awesome. I'm going to keep it on that. All right, so if we select optical flares, we can move this and make sure that it's not too insane here. Uh, which side do we want it on? Hmm. Well, I'm kind of digging it on this side, but, uh, I, I just, I can't, I can't make my, I can't make up my mind. It looks awesome both places. I think I'm going to keep it on this side, actually. Okay, let's, uh, start out maybe up top, like up there, and let's, uh, keyframe the position here. So, let's go into the position settings here let's uh, hit the keyframe and then go towards the end zoom out using the scroll wheel and then just bring it down to probably around there cool and now if we hit zero we can see what we've done so far oh that's gonna take forever to, to pre-render I, I already know that's gonna look good and let's also add that same wiggle expression to both the brightness and the scale here so boom alt and click Wiggle, parenthesis, let's do um, 2 comma 10. And then let's do the same thing for scale. Uh, alt click, wiggle, parenthesis, 2 comma 12. Ooh, we're really mixing it up now, guys. <laughs> what the freak? Okay, 
So now um, those two, the brightness and the other thing will just go crazy dur during the entire uh, thing. Let's actually change the position here. It's, it's a little too forward. Now let's go to the end. I'm, I'm just tweaking this because I already know that. Well, I know what I like. And I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna settle for less, guys. I'm not. <laughs> All right, that looks good. Okay, so everything's looking awesome so far. I guess now we can add the text in. So let's uh, hit Control T to bring up our text tool. Select in here, and let's name this. Hmm, what, what should we call this? How about? Uh. Yes, maybe check, enter IT, check it. I mean, that looks, <laughs> that seems pretty simple. Uh, now we're just going to do some basic typography. Um, you guys can find Typography Pro online for free. Just type in uh, Typograph Pro uh, font into Google and you will find this font. Um, I'm going to mess with this now. So let's size up IT a lot. Wow, that's uh, it's quite large. I'm sizing up IT a lot. Okay, um, let's select check and let's. Oh, whoops, not that one. Make it smaller. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Ugh, actually, I don't like that. Then how can we do this? Hmm, what else can we make the name? Cause I, I don't think that looks good. Let's say, let's just do the the your text thing, because that 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 just doesn't. It doesn't flow very good right there. Um, select text. Let's just make it way smaller. Uh, same thing. Bring it up top. Wow, this tutorial is going to be long, guys. We're already 21 minutes into this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't edit this down, though. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Be happy, though. You got a tutorial this week. Okay. Um, let's actually drop it down a little more. And then let's make uh, this one... There we go. Awesome. All right. So your text is now there. And let's uh, hit F4 and make it 3D, of course. Then let's bring down the options here. And let's transform it. Uh, the orientation. Let's uh, turn it a little bit on its side, like right, right there-ish. Yeah, that looks good. Um, let's turn it a little bit further back like that. And maybe a little bit like that. Awesome. And let's actually bring it more forward. Uh, where where are you at? That would be position, correct? Yeah. Uh, let's drag that forward in disease space. And let's actually move it left a little bit. There we go. That's where it's going to end up. So it starts out there. And let's actually turn off all these other files real quick. Uh, let me drag this under first. Right above Eli Goober and right underneath everything else. Then let's just turn everything off just so we can get a quick uh, view of what we're we're gonna get. Oh, sorry. Except for the camera and the control layer, of course, because uh, we that's what we want to test out here. It's gonna just zoom in. We might be able to make that text a little larger, actually. Now that I look at it. Ah, uh, we don't need to. That's fine for a title. All right. So next, what we want to do is uh, turn everything back on, of course. And since uh, we're doing so good, I guess the final thing is to add in color correction. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit Control-Alt-Y, and that'll make a new adjustment layer. And you guys can do uh, whatever color corrections you want, curves, um, I, I just call it CC. Um, but I have something that I paid money for, it's called uh, Magic Bullet. Uh, you guys can find it online, I know you can, but um, Magic Bullet looks is amazing. I would, I highly recommend it. Uh, I'm just going to click and drag that onto the adjustment layer. Hit edit. And we're just going to start with something. I, I always use Movie Star because it looks so amazing. Um, but we need to tweak this uh, vignette because it is just absolutely stupid right now. Uh, there we go. Let me zoom in. Oh, uh, something's uh, That doesn't look too good. I, 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 it looks okay, but it's like... For some reason it's blowing stuff out. What is going on here? Why is it doing that? Um, curves, maybe, maybe bring down that a bit. Hmm. Is it the, the lift? 
I mean, it's, it's slightly the lift. Maybe I could bring that down a bit. It's kind of saving it a bit, though. I think I'm just going to have to make uh, the text, like, black or something to save this, because it is... It's a little too intense here. Yeah, I'm just going to make the text black. Okay. But you can see, like, uh, how much better it gets. And let's actually go back into this. I, I don't like uh, the vignette. The vignette just looks absolutely ridiculous. There we go. There we go. So now it's looking a lot better. Hit finished. Okay. And now what we can do is we can go over to the text and let's just change the color. I'm glad when I run into problems so you guys can see how we problem solve together. Uh, let's hit OK. And let's uh, actually, we can leave it black. I actually like how it's uh, getting the colors of everything else there. That's actually looking really cool. OK. It ends up right there. Uh, maybe bring the flare to on top of the color correction. Otherwise, you're not going to be getting uh, too much going through there. Let's see. What about the other flare? Actually, yeah, I like I like the other flare on top of it as well. So I just brought both of those flares on top. And uh, maybe we could add a little bit more animation to this one as well. Uh, just real quick, you, you'll see I'm doing this really fast. Um, we can start right there. Go to the end. And tweak it to right about there. Okay, now we have motion on everything, and it's looking uh, pretty, pretty good. Okay. All right, guys. So with that, uh, we can render this real quick. Let's go up to composition, add to render queue. Let's uh, go to lossless down here. Go down to quick time. Make sure that in your format options, it's set to H.264. Hit OK. Um, we don't need audio because we're going to be putting audio in it later. And let's just name this uh, to Vegas light hit save okay and render and this might take a bit to render <laughs> we now have the video here let's click and drag it into Sony Vegas and I can show you guys the final uh, approach to this so you'll see we have the thing here boom 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 Let's actually get uh, a nice fade there. I just went to the edge of the video and then went to the top and dragged over to get that. And let's go into our transitions. Let's, gra uh, let's grab a uh, right to left here. There we go. And let's actually go to the center of it. And uh, let's turn up the feathering a bit. And let's change the angle. There we go. Oh yeah, let's change it uh, from best full to uh, half. Preview half. Make sure that's still lagging. Let's go preview auto. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> like I said, guys, look how freaking amazing that looks. Wow. Wow. And then it fades to black. And... Uh, the music fades out. Boom. We are done. That looks so freaking cool. Wow. Actually, I'm just going to have the audio keep playing because this is going to be the intro. So, guys, um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, I hope that you guys can like the video and leave a comment because uh, I, I really... I, I'm not going to work too hard on this tutorial, but it's, it's still going to take like another hour or so for me to edit this. And all the work that Brand and I put into these tutorials, it really does make a difference when you guys, you know, leave a comment. So thank you guys so much. Um, make sure that you guys tune in to LM Good or twitch.tv slash LM Good and uh, send mail because my birthday is coming up and I'd love to read your guys' mail and everything like that. Fam letters. Uh, uh, P.O. Box is in, in the description if you guys want to send mail to us. And uh, if you guys want to be on film, that's a, that's a way to do it. So um, with that, guys, I will see you guys on Monday or so. And I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace.
But let me tell you about some chicks that I know I got a Latina girl that says she wanted pronto I got a girl in Toronto and I call her Raptor She said she fed up with the modern rappers There's no energy that sounded thin to me Yeah, so I said I got that remedy I got that old shit, you can depend on me <laughs> Cause I'm versatile I can shake up the floor, I reverse the tile You can bet your whole purse, every verse is wild Make a sucker MC go reverse his style